If Pac would have survived, he wouldn't have shared nothing with the police. Pac understood that if you put your hands on somebody, Pac understood this, that there's a chance that a person could come retaliate. Same way he got shot before. He wasn't going to go to the police and start saying, when he got shot in New York. He didn't tell the police this person did that. He rapped about it, of course. He's an artist, but that's the life that, and that, those particular times back in the 90s, how everybody was moving. What's good, Jess Setters? In this clip, you'll find out Napoleon's reaction to Suge Knight saying he's not testifying on Keefe D for allegedly taking out Tupac. Now, to provide more context, I'll play what Suge said first and then come back with Napoleon. Here's what Suge Knight had to say on TMZ. Tell me what your reaction is to the arrest of Keefe D. Well, surprise, number one, because I didn't think... Um, Keefe D had never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. You know, let's get one thing uh, straight. First and foremost, you know, me and Keefe D played on the same Pop Warner football team. And whatever the circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, I still, who want to see? I wouldn't wish somebody to go to prison on my worst enemy. The DA says that Keefe D was in the car with his nephew and that presumably his nephew, according to the DA, is the one that shot Tupac and that it was done with the full knowledge of Keefe. Um, do they have it right? There was only two people in the car. And Pac not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I tell you this. And it's, I, I never had nothing bad to say about uh, uh, Orlando because number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my hearing and told to let me go and told the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? Well, number one, I can because. I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? They seem to be saying that Orlando was the shooter and Keefe was in on it, that he had full knowledge of what was going down and it was revenge for Orlando getting beaten up by Tupac and his team uh, at the MGM after the Tyson fight. Is that correct? No. Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that point. To summarize, you are saying Orlando was not the shooter, although you won't say who the shooter was. You are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any way in the shooting. Um, and you are saying that if you're called to testify by either side, you will not comply. You will not testify. Do I have that right? A thousand percent. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't testify. None of that. At the, you know, at the end of the day, free Keefe D. Okay, so now that you're all caught up, let's hear what Napoleon had to say in the art of dialogue about this whole situation. Suge Knight, how you feel about Suge Knight coming out saying that he's not going to testify in Tupac murder case? Like I said, Suge, Pac, if Pac would have lied, he would have survived. He wouldn't have shared nothing with the police because you got to understand, let's talk about 1996 mindset of all of us this comes with the streets so you understand like the same way Pac understood that if you put your hands on somebody Pac understood this that there's a chance that a person could come retaliate like Pac wasn't a person who he, he, he knew how the streets work you know what I mean so Pac if he would have survived like I said he wouldn't have put, bring no police involved so when Suge said that that's because that's the code that they was living by same way he got shot before he wasn't going to go to the police and start saying we got shot in New York. He didn't tell the police this person did that. He rapped about it, of course. He's an artist, but that's the life that and that, those particular times back in the 90s, how everybody was moving. I know I did an interview with Keefe D and I don't know if he's telling the truth or not, but he said that after Orlando got beat up at the MGM, they went to Club 662 looking for Tupac for Tupac and Orlando can fight one on one. But what you think about that? You know, Pac, do you think he would have fought Orlando? Yeah, I, I, I wish that would have happened. You know, I wish that they would have was able to do a head up. Definitely Pac would have done it. 
You know what I mean? I wish that was the case that I wish we did have more of that where, you know, we don't let our pride get involved and, you know, you just go back and say, let's fight, bro. Y'all jump me. Let me and you fight a fair one and whatever. We shake hands. Don't bring no guns involved. You know what I mean? I wish that was the case. Napoleon is right. Tupac definitely knew retaliation was in the cards that night. Everybody just wasn't going to move on like in the case between Tupac and Nas. Click the video on the screen right now to hear Snoop Dogg expose what really happened between Tupac and Nas. Peace.